And now moving on, the next speaker is Marek Sotyshak and his lecture about what we can do as observers or participants uh, when, we, uh, when we see someone discharging um, sewage. Well, as it happens in Poland, it's quite a big problem and there are different organizations um, where uh, illegal discharges of sewage are reported. We get that from private individuals and from organizations. So I look forward to Marek's presentation, which I hope uh, will help us understand how we can respond if we see a problem, especially if no one else is taking steps to remedy a problem. So over to you, Marek. Into the river. Uh, I think it's not easy topic uh, because uh, uh, we need some uh, devices uh, and uh, some uh, uh, possibilities to detect uh, the uh, quality of water. Uh, but uh, I think that we have some changes uh, to uh, to, to uh, carry out the intervention. Uh, one moment, I have some technical problems uh, because, oh, okay, so uh, my uh, presentation plan, uh, basics of hydrogeology and hydrology, flow, chemical composition, pollutions. Water sampling, water quality assessment, interventions. Uh, after that, I would like to uh, present you a case study from uh, Ruda Śląska, uh, from Kochówka River and small summary. Uh, oh. Maybe so. Oh. Uh, a sentence uh, from uh, Water uh, Framework Directive. Water is not a commercial product uh, like any other, but rather a heritage that we must be protected, defended, and treated as uh, such. And uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, regulation is uh, Presented in Polish law, uh, but uh, we know every, uh, we know that uh, water uh, is needed for everybody, uh, and water is needed for life. Uh, uh, my topic is connected with river, and the most important uh, feature of uh, river is flow. And uh, how to measure the flow? Uh, the determining of flow is important when we would like to determine the amounts of pollutions uh, in water river. And uh, what is it, uh, flow rate and water cause flow? the amount of water that flows per unit time through the cross section of water course bed. Uh, the units uh, of uh, flow rate is, for example, cubic meter per second or liter per second. Uh, and how to determine it? Uh, it is possible using very simple uh, field method, uh, we have to know the velocity of flow and we have to know the cross-sectional area of uh, uh, the riverbed. Uh, if we multiply the velocity and cross-sectional uh, area of uh, um, a river bed, 
we could uh, determine the flow rate. Uh, but uh, the field methods are not uh, are not uh, uh, exact uh, because uh, usually we have not uh, uh, any measurement devices. Uh, we should to know that uh, the velocity is different in different parts uh, of uh, cross-sectional area. Usually the velocity is faster in the central parts of, uh, of, uh, of water flow. Uh, uh, and how to measure the, the flow? Uh, we have to uh, measure the cross section, the area of cross section of the riverbed. Uh, we can use uh, very simple tools, uh, as uh, for example. Uh, Uh, tape measure, and we have to know uh, the distance from measurement points. Uh, we need a float, we uh, and the float is put in one point of the flow of the river bed, and we measure the time when the float floats uh, from one point to the second point. Uh, and if we know the distance between these points, we can estimate the, uh, the, 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 the velocity. And uh, the second feature, we have to measure the uh, average depth in different points of uh, cross section of the riverbed and we can calculate the surface. And if we multiply the surface and the velocity, we have uh, the uh, flow rate. Uh, if we uh, need uh, 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 exactly, uh, water flow, uh, we should uh, use uh, another devices uh, like current meter. Uh, this device uh, could uh, measure uh, the flow uh, in some points of riverbed and uh, the results will be uh, more exactly. Uh, in practice, the flow is calculated on uh, the basis of water level uh, on the stream gouges, uh, but uh, the net of uh, street gouges uh, usually uh, is not situated in points when uh, where where uh, we uh, try to measure uh, the flow rate. Uh, but this information could be helpful uh, when we try to determine the uh, contamination of uh, of uh, of river. Uh, the results of water level measurements are, uh, are available uh, on website uh, uh, in Poland. Uh, the observation are car uh, carried out by the Institute of Meteorology uh, and Water Management. And the observation network is available uh, in the internet and if we visit the website of the Institute of Meteorology, uh, we can uh, 
see the points uh, and get some information about flow and uh, water levels uh, in uh, many, many points. Uh, it was one aspect. Uh, the second aspect, uh, properties of water, physical, chemical, and organoleptic properties of water. Physical properties of water, uh, density, viscosity, conductivity, temperation. Uh, chemical properties of water, mineralization, pH, redox potential, alkalinity, chemical oxygen demand, biochemical oxygen demand, hardness, aggressiveness. Uh, and organoleptic properties of water, taste, smell, color, transparency. Uh, we could uh, determine usually the organoleptic properties of water uh, because we can compare clean water and water which we see in point when where we uh, suspect the contamination. Uh, some words about chemical composition of water. Uh, water is not clean. Many ingredients uh, are in water. Bicarbonates, sulfates, chlorides, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium. Uh, in each sample of water, we usually can uh, determine the ingredients. They are called main ingredients. And for example, if we uh, have a look at bottled water, uh, we very easy find the, we, we could find the information about the chemical uh, composition of the water. Uh, we have subcomponents, uh, compounds of nitrogen, iron, manganese, uh, silica, and organic substances. Uh, and uh, in water, we can find my, uh, micronutrients. Uh, uh, they are these uh, elements uh, which are in the concentration below one milligram per liter. Pollution or contamination, the process of changes in the composition of water caused by uh, human activity, making them less useful for one or all of the purposes uh, that it could be served in its natural state. A pollutant is a substance uh, that occurs in water as a result of human activity and degrades its natural composition. The effect of penetration of the pollutants is the increase of the concentration of elements and compounds in relation to the nat natural composition of the appearance of the foreign substances. Toxic substances are, uh, this one is, are chemical substan uh, substances or mixtures that make uh, cause exposure or damage to health or the environment. And uh, the definition of poison. Everything is poisoned and nothing is poisoned. And only the dose makes a given substance a poison. Uh, the definition uh, was given by Paracelsus in the Middle Ages. And I think it's still actual and it's very popular. So we can say that Everything is pollutant and nothing is pollutant. And only the dose makes a given substance uh, a pollutant. Uh, an example. Uh, nitrogen forms, uh, which are natural compounds of uh, waters uh, and uh, 
uh, the forms of nitrogen can change in, uh, in water and uh, in very uh, in uh, very close to the uh, sewage inflow uh, the most uh, important uh, form is uh, organic nitrogen and when the distance uh, uh, is uh, longer uh, ammonium appears and after that uh, nitrates as the form which appear when the uh, condition uh, changes uh, and when the oxygen is available is available uh, very important thing uh, is sampling uh, we can determine some stages of sampling uh, if we want to get a sample of water first we have uh, to carry out a point inspection we have uh, uh, to describe this this point uh, in this stage, we could determine uh, the flow rate, uh, the water level, and we can determine the surroundings of the sampling points. After that, uh, usually we have to uh, filtrate water and uh, we in the next stage so we will determine this uh, fissure like temperature conductivity ph uh, oxygen concentration alkalinity uh, when we do it the next stage is sampling and fixation with reagents uh, for example uh, the reagents could be ultra pure uh, nitric acid, which uh, is uh, usually used uh, when we will uh, determine the metals concentration. Very important thing is uh, uh, describe number numbering uh, the samples. Uh, and uh, the next stage is storage and transport. Uh, because uh, uh, the chemical composition of uh, water is changing, and uh, the rule, the, the basic rule is that that uh, the uh, samples should be uh, transported very fast, uh, and uh, the condition of uh, calm and uh, the storage uh, uh, should be uh, conducted in the temperature of four deg uh, Celsius degrees. Uh, there are some devices for measuring on this photo. In this photo, on this photo, uh, here are uh, the uh, conductometer, pH meter. Uh, and here is uh, filtering cell uh, when where where we put the samples of this measuring devices. Uh, if you would like, if we uh, like to, uh, if you if you <laughs> if you want uh, to. Uh, to sample some waters, uh, we need some uh, devices, and uh, uh, you see this device uh, is not small. We need a transport for it, so it's a little complicated. Uh, we have, for example, to um, take uh, in the field. Uh, 
the measure, measurement equipment, sometimes a pump. So usually we mean uh, we we need uh, um, a car. Uh, water uh, water sampling. Uh, another devices uh, another de uh, de uh, devices we need for groundwater sampling and another for surface sampling. But uh, sometimes we need a boat. Uh, so uh, water sampling. Uh, needs uh, methodology of, of, of sampling uh, and sometimes special equipment. Uh, for example, uh, some special holders for uh, bottles for samples. Uh, water quality uh, is usually um, determined by uh, law uh, regulations. And uh, in every uh, country, uh, there are another regulation, but they are connected with uh, European regulation. Uh, in Polish, in a Polish condition, uh, for water quality, we use regulation of the Minister of Marine Economy and uh, Island uh, Navigation. Uh, uh, from uh, 2019, and uh, there are uh, described the rules of classification of ecological status, ecological potential, and chemical status. Uh, for us, important is chemical uh, status, uh, and we determined the chemical status by comparing the limit uh, values uh, of uh, water quality indicators. Uh, there are determined five classes of water quality. Uh, in this uh, page you see the values from repealed uh, regulation, but I think they are um, more useful because uh, in the actual regulation, uh, we uh, know only the values for first and the second class. Uh, that is uh, for very good quality and uh, good quality. And uh, for many indicators, there are not uh, limit values for classes third, fourth, and five. Uh, in uh, similar rules are used for groundwater. Uh, and uh, the rules uh, are for groundwater are uh, described uh, in regulation of the Minister of, of Marine Economy uh, from, from 2019. And uh, the rules are very similar. Uh, there are five classes of quality and we compare the value of chemical analysis of our sample with the uh, values of groundwater uh, of uh, uh, limit uh, indicators. Uh, uh, and there are about 50 indicators for grant water uh, and uh, about uh, more than 50 indicators for surface water. Uh, this uh, regulation are useful for uh, describing the chemical state of water, but from uh, our point of view, uh, more interesting uh, is uh, regulation of the Minister of Marine Economy, uh, which uh, 
describes the uh, a condition to be met when discharging sewage into water or ground. Uh, because uh, uh, when uh, we see that the uh, limit value are uh, higher than uh, this, uh, which are given by the regulation, uh, in this situation we uh, can uh, say we can say that uh, we have a sewage uh, uh, flow uh, to, 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 to to waters and uh, in this regulation uh, there are given the uh, limit values of pollution indicators and uh, we use these values uh, to compare the chemical composition of uh, water sample and uh, if we do it uh, we can uh, say that uh, something wrong is uh, that some sewage uh, that some sewage uh, uh, that some sewage uh, 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 goes to to to, to waters. Uh, so civil interventions. Uh, I would like to show you an example of uh, Kochówka River. It's a river uh, situated in the Silesian agglomeration in the south of Poland. Uh, and uh, we found here some uh, places with uh, pollution. Uh, if we would like to carry out civil intervention, uh, we have to prepare documentation. First one is preparing film documentation. Uh, and the main rule is saying that uh, we should document from detail uh, to general. Uh, and we have to prepare the documentation in uh, one film shot. Uh, it's very good if we mm, prepare a date stamp on the video. It could be, for example, a receipt. Uh, we have to document uh, the place ro location. Uh, there are some uh, application which uh, we can download to our phones. It could be, for example, application like GPS data, GPS, GPS coordinates, GPS logger. Uh, and uh, if, it's, if it is possible, uh, we should estimate the flow rate. Uh, you know the flow method, which I tried to describe you at the beginning of the presentation. Uh, if we see a river pollution, uh, we should to get some help. Who to call? Uh, in Polish uh, circumstances, I think that uh, the best way is to call the police. Uh, why? Because they are public person and public officers, and they uh, use the law regulation and uh, the police works uh, using the Polish penal code. Uh, I think that in uh, every country there are detailed regulation, but uh, 
the sense of this regulation is that that uh, um, pollution of uh, rivers is forbidden. Uh, and for example, the point of 182, whoever pollutes water with substances which may endanger human life or health or cause a significant reduction uh, of the quality of water shall be punished by imprisonment from some months to some years. And similar uh, regulation and, and another regulation are similar. Uh, so it's not important in this uh, moment. Uh, but I think that uh, situ in situation when uh, water is polluted, uh, the police could be very helpful and could help us. Uh, sometimes uh, police uh, don't want to, to, to help because they think that uh, these cases are not important. Uh, in this moment, we can say that uh, the police uh, works on the journal uh, of uh, works on the law regulation, and the basic task of the police include protection of human life and health. Uh, so uh, I think when we give these arguments, uh, the police will help us. Uh, when uh, the officer or policeman appears. Uh, we should uh, demand that uh, the police will uh, prepare a note uh, or uh, the police will uh, secure the evidence of pollution. Uh, we could help the police uh, uh, by taking a water sample but imp very important is that that the uh, sa water sample could be taken to clean bottle. Uh, it could be bottle uh, emptied of distilled water, for example. We can buy this kind of bottle at every gas station. Uh, alternatives uh, there, of course, and other ones uh, we could find to crisis management centers or to environmental protection agencies or river administration. Uh, but we should to know that this uh, uh, bodies usually uh, have time and uh, the reaction will be not so fast as uh, uh, if we uh, call the police. And I would like to show you uh, the value of conductivity as an example, of course. Uh, the, the value of conducti conductivity on Kochówka River. Uh, at uh, the in the beginning of the river, the value is about uh, 600 uh, micro siemens per centimeter. And uh, then uh, the value is growing up to uh, about one milli siemens per centimeter. Uh, to this point, to this point. Uh, in the center of uh, Ruda Śląska Kochłowica, the value of uh, conductivity uh, is growing up to the value of eight. Uh, so in the very short distance, uh, we detect uh, a very uh, strong 
uh, increase uh, of the conductivity. Uh, it, it is connected with this point. This point uh, here we indicate uh, the sewage uh, flow into the river and the construction work on the river bank. Uh, this uh, parameter conductivity is uh, very fast to determine because the measure time uh, is about one minute and uh, we use to this uh, object very um, uh, very uh, easy uh, measurement device it's conductometer and uh, this is very cheap and very fast uh, uh, in Kochówka River, we have another situation. Uh, uh, in um, uh, Bekovina, it is about uh, eight kilometers from from uh, the springs of uh, Kochówka. There is a a reservoir uh, which is polluted by a treatment plant uh, and uh, we tried to measure uh, the concentration of pollutants and uh, uh, we sampled uh, water from Kochówka, from the reservoir, and from the treatment plant. And as a result, we saw that uh, from the treatment plant, uh, float uh, amounts, uh, huge amounts of uh, nit nitrogen compounds. Uh, and uh, and uh, they um, have an impact of the water quality. Uh, and uh, uh, And uh, below the treatment plant, uh, the quality of water was getting worse. And here, the, uh, shown the concentration of uh, uh, nitrogen compounds and phosphorus. Uh, and here is the point Uh, above uh, the treatment plant uh, and uh, here is uh, a point uh, 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 below the treatment plant and uh, we see that uh, the uh, concentration of nitrogen uh, is getting is growing up, is growing up. Uh, so if you would like to determine the uh, pollution degree, uh, we have to conduct the chemical analysis of, uh, of water. Uh, 
but unfortunately it's impossible if we don't have a laboratory uh, of course we can uh, bring a sample to laboratory but unfortunately uh, it's not cheap uh, because uh, the prices for determination of some compounds uh, could be cost uh, from a few to uh, a few hundred euros. Uh, for example, uh, determination of uh, one metal costs about uh, six euros. Uh, nitrogen compounds uh, determination costs about uh, 20 euros. Uh, so uh, we see it's not cheap. If uh, we don't uh, have the possibilities uh, for paying for the chemical analysis, uh, we should uh, ask for help uh, some services, for example, police the, and uh, the environmental agencies. Uh, so the question uh, is, are the intervention possible? Possible. Possible. Um, I think that the intervention are possibilities, uh, but only if we have the support or services or agencies. Uh, because uh, if you would like to document uh, the pollutions, uh, we have to prepare uh, the chemical analysis. And uh, as a typical citizens, we don't have the access to laboratories. We don't have uh, money for the chemical analysis. Uh, so we should to collaborate with uh, some services. Uh, but the intervention are necessary because the services are not in uh, every point of rivers. Uh, so when the sewage flows into the rivers, intervention could be helpful uh, for the services. Uh, but uh, uh, we have to uh, act uh, consciously. Uh, I think that uh, if you'd like to act alone, uh, it could be impossible to carry out interventions when the politicians uh, flow into water rivers. Uh, so we see uh, it's not so easy uh, to uh, carry out civil interventions uh, because uh, the most important things in this uh, kind of activity are chemical analysis and uh, they are not cheap. That's all what I wanted to say to you. So thank you.